When the world was made, someone came to take care of the people who would live here. He performed miracles. But as time passed, his powers diminished, and he could hardly even touch the earth he loved. Alone and hidden away, he lost faith in miracles. But every now and then, he would try, one more time, to do something good. work out what the 12 fruits are that mum said there are in heaven. There is a river of crystals that divides the city into two parts and on both sides there is a big tree, big enough to feed everyone. And on both trees there are 12 different fruits. Will we be on the same side of the river, Dad? None of that is true. Now stay in the car. Six fifty. Have a nice night. Unbelievable. Two dead, one injured in a crime of passion. A shooting. <laughs> Can I help you? Yes. Could I get This packet of gum. Sure. Gotta treat yourself once in a thousand years. That'll be three dollars. Speaking of shootings, there was a murder in here, you know? Just a year back. Innards. All over the wall behind you. Sometimes people think the bullet just lands in your flesh, kills you. No. It grinds your flesh. Keep the change. The bullet mashes and blends and obliterates axons and tendons, bone shatters, and the blood loss. The vascular system shunts blood from the extremities to maintain perfusion to the vital organs. Whatever nerves are still functioning, scatter to send all this information to your brain. Not a very pleasant thought, which is why I don't think about it. 
Do you want a bag? Could you put it in my pocket? There was once a man who woke up every night screaming in unbearable pain. What the hell is this? A tail. Every night, 2 a.m. to 4 a.m., without fail, he'd scream for hours in agony. And every day, he'd have no memory of it. I don't think we need another story. Now, can't you just knock up the drugs and go and do whatever it is you do around here? Let her tell it, hun. He lived his life as normal, this man, not knowing that his nights were a living hell. He was being visited by the devil himself. Every night, he stared into the devil's face and the devil stared back. It gets better, I promise. <laughs> Meanwhile, in hell, the devil is having these frightful daydreams. It's a waste of time. Why don't you just do your job? Oh, what? Oh, where's the doctor? I want to speak to... Oh, what's his name? I've heard he's dangerous. Owen Harper, he's a violent man. Who are you? Just stay away from him, okay? Why won't you people listen to me? He has a gun. The possibility of injury is 2.5 times greater for women offering no resistance to a gun threat. Is that from a book? Yeah, so listen. Is there something I can help you with? I'm trying to help you. Please, drop it. I suck at my job. Join the club. What were you doing in there? Alternative medicine? I just tell stories. And I think it helps them. Frees them from here. And when you share a story, for once in your life, you get to feel the same thing as someone else. And you don't feel quite so alone. If you follow me, I'll call security. What are you looking at? What is this? A story. Well, what's it about? A girl who's an alien. Really? An alien? She has to hide from the government, but her real family, who are also aliens, are also trying to find her. I wish I was an alien. I don't. It sounds lonely. Remember to brush your teeth.
I came up with a story once, when I was young, about a bustling afterlife. It's surely beautiful where you're going. I mean, what isn't? I imagined an endless mountain crowded with everyone you've ever known. Sounds like quite a party. Do you know how wormholes are made? Space worms. It's how they travel through the universe. There was a space worm, the last in its family, loved by millions on thousands of worlds. The worm protected these worlds by eating asteroids, and occasionally moons, and planets. It became so huge, it spanned constellations. It would take a thousand years for it to turn its head to look at its own tail. And so the worm was lonely. It was the most self-pitying creature in existence. But everyone and everything it ate were fine. But the worm didn't know. It never knew. <laughs> 